This e-bike costs £555, while this one costs £6,399. Only putting them head to head to see how they compare. <laughs> Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because in the last head to head challenge, the cheap bike I used wasn't electrified. Ooh. Oh no! Oh my god, it's all broken! And you guys thought it wasn't fair, so I've decided to buy the Swifty e-mountain bike from Amazon. I found this for £555 and it is a hardtail mountain bike with an electric motor in the rear hub there. We've got seven gears on it. We've got double discs, front and rear. There is no dropper post, no rear suspension. And we're going to be putting it head to head with the beautiful and brand new Canyon Talk On CF9. This far more superior and expensive bike comes straight out the box as a winning machine. It has Fox 38 forks up front. We got the Fox Flow X2 factory rear shock in there. It's also got the Shimano EP8 motor delivering 85 newton meters of torque. I've also fitted Halo Gravitas wheel set on here along with the Goodyear Newton tires for insane grip whilst trying to stop or flying into corners. So without any further ado, let's get into the woods and start the first challenges. First challenge, the hill climb challenge. Exactly why an e-bike's amazing. Watch how easy it is on the Canyon Torque On. Seat up. So chill. Now it's time for the nifty swifty. Let's see if we can do it on this beast. Wow, that's surprising actually. So that first challenge was just to get the feelers of the power of that bike. We've got a bigger hill here. So is this bike gonna make it through this bog and up there? The canyon, of course, is gonna fire through. Why I'm wearing a white t-shirt, I'll never know. And I can just click through these gears straight up. No trouble. As I know this bike doesn't have the same power, we're gonna start a little bit further back so we can get into the power band through this bog section. I'm in the lowest gear already, so. Oh. Ah. Yo, <laughs> made it. Now it's time for the brake test. I'm gonna go back up to the top of there. We'll set this log as, not that one, it's massive. We're gonna set this little stick as the braking point. Here we go. <laughs> that was all right. Let's leave it lent up. Show you what the canyon can do. <sighs> Even in them slippy conditions, that was well easy. Look, I still got 50 PSI in here as well. Onto the next challenge. The next challenge is the head-to-head -head race. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna hit one of the trails down here, cut off into this section, up the hill, down there with them trees at the bottom as a finish line. Three, two, one, driving. Go on. There we go, power's kicking in. Firing, get it. Try not to lose the train just here. Smash that bike. Oh, it's so scary. Oh. The bike's even worse. Oh, I'm scared of these tires. Come on. Down train. Perfect. Come on. Come here. Oh, oh. The tree. I'm scared of this. Brakes don't work. Oh. Oh. Yes. Next challenge is the trial challenge. That's what I love about e-bikes. You can make these fun little sections and then, oh no, look, he's down. Oh no. Let's clean this section then. Hopefully Louis cleans it as well and doesn't land on his back. All right, that section's done. Then we're in here. Can't really see how slippy and tight it is. Manage that. 
Oh, yo. <laughs> That was well good. It's now time for the Swifty, and with this heavy, low gear of it, I think it's going to be quite hard, but... Oh! Oh! <clears throat> We've somehow managed that. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Ah! Oh. Okay, the Swifty's not good at trials. The gears aren't low enough. There's no grip on the tyres, but I actually went further than I thought it would go. Overall, this bike is doing all right for 500 quid, but what's it like at jumping? Let's find out. We've now come over to a jump. I haven't been here for ages. The lip has been built up so you can get more air time. And unless you've been living under a rock, you know that canyons can jump super well. So let's just blast out a few tricks on here before I get scared and attempt it on that Swifty. Oh my god, that was massive! <laughs> I jumped over your head, didn't I? Let's do some more. Nah, nah, don't try it. You can't feed me lies, won't buy it. Question everything, told them, nah, don't try it. Yeah, we are moving like some psychic. We are moving like some waste, man. I'm loving this. Feels well dreamy. This is a medium, so it's a nice bit smaller than you'd want if you were actually like my size and didn't do tricks but because i like to move the bike around and do tricks medium's perfect for me good for manuals 360s on an e-bike it works perfect i want to just get a slow motion knife that can then we'll switch on to the swifty that was even a heavy landing on that beast and now i'm on the swifty hard tail thinnest forks ever made Pretty scary. Let me just hit it straight first. See how it feels. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, ow! Let's start off lightly and get a little suey on there. Oh, the brakes don't work. Oh no, wow. Oh. I'm actually gonna go off the smaller lip so I don't die. Yes! Oh, suey, my hands weren't even back on. Oh, that's so, so scary on that. Oh, right, that is it. The whole thing is bending. That's so horrible. I know I've got to go quicker to clear it better, but already that landing's so flat. No, I'm not, I don't need to make excuses up. It's terrifying. Look at it. Look at them. Let's get into an urban environment. See what else we can do on these bikes. The next challenge is an urban classic. It's the stair set of doom blast down on this and then see if it's possible on the cheap one let's get it big sends On the cheapy, as I said, I'm not doubling in. Oh, oh, it's not too bad. Oh, oh my god, that is so deaf. Oh, 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 the fork's making oh, such death sounds. Surviving it though. Oh, there we go. The canyon once again smashed the cheap bike on this ridiculous stair set of doom. We're now gonna move on to some more challenges, see what other stuff we can put these bikes through. Next challenge has been chosen because I think the Swifty may be the expensive bike. We're gonna drop in here on this pump track, no pedaling allowed. Three, two, one, Swifty. <laughs> There we go. Now that is what I call a quick time. <laughs> we measured that at about 14.25. Can I beat it on the canyon? Let's find out. 
Three, two, one. There we go. Straight in. Oh my god, this is going to be slower because of the full suspension. Out. There we go. There we go. We just got a time of 15.05 on the expensive canyon. The Swifty is quicker at pump tracks. Maybe we shouldn't mention that to Canyon, actually. The next challenge is the top to bottom challenge. We're going to start here and we're going to set a time down to that bottom Olympic ring there. You're on the cheat bike, Louis. I think that'll be fun. I'm going to stay on the Canyon because it's new and I love it. And it's the best thing ever. So I'm going to film you go down there and you can set the first time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's in. Oh, oh my God, that was well good. Well, at least Bye. I look impressive. Yeah, stand up then. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is <Yeah>. crap. <laughs> Actually, it's not that crap. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. God. Cutting. Wonder if that looks steezy and cool. Nice. Oh, I don't know cool. what the route is. <laughs> is that the bottom? Three, two, one. Dropping. There we go. Free ride. Whoa. Hey. You didn't have to stay on the track. You could have just sent it like that. This thing's way quicker. Next challenge is for you to decide. Simply, we're going to come down that hill, grab a load of the back brake, and see which bike can drift the best round and down this bit into that bit of trail. Good old fashioned fun, let's get it. challenge you've come across is this fallen log which can be used to emulate a trail that might have a log in the way. I can get over it easily on this, well I say easily, I haven't tried yet. Let's see if it will work on the Swifty after I've done it on this beast. Well, let's do it back the other way as well. See? chill on this you can use your suspension to bounce into it and over Swifty's very heavy this is also quite heavy it is an e-bike but with the compression and bounce you can sort of make the weight disappear so let's try it on that and see if it's possible oh. <laughs> that worked let me try the bigger bit oh yeah just definitely not as stylish and easy as on that bike but it is possible completed it next one the final challenge is upon us and this is the towing challenge we moved it with the canyon you know it's possible i've done it already if i can even slightly move it with the cheapy special, that is gonna be mind blowing. Let's give it a go. That's just my leg power, because the, the motor doesn't kick in until you start moving. So that is it for the challenges and the head to head between these two very differently priced e bikes. And this little Swifty actually survived much better than I thought it would. I guess 500 pounds isn't really that cheap, but some of the parts on here are unbelievable. So dangerous, the forks. I mean, it does say no jumping or stunting on the top here. Uh, the wheels are actually quite strong. I think that's because an e-bike has to be rated differently and they probably have to go through some sort of other 
ratings to allow it to be sold so yeah it wasn't too bad but obviously the canyon talk on looking all beautiful over here destroyed that thing hill climbs stair sets downhill racing grip braking i mean it outshone that by miles and obviously it would with a price tag of over six thousand pounds but you literally get what you pay for that is an insane bit of kit obviously if you wanted to get into a bit of e-bike and you wanted to go down the pub or something that might be one for you but i wouldn't even dare risk buying that to ride in a bike park see you in the next one